time that we make our blog look just a little bit better um, for Triangular 1.5. We're gonna be doing that using Bootstrap. There's a lot to cover with Bootstrap, so we're actually not gonna go into using Bootstrap other than just the integration stuff. Um, if you do have questions on this, we definitely cover Bootstrap in a lot of our projects on joincfe.com slash projects, and there is even a Bootstrap project in there as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get started by clicking on there. Get started on getbootstrap.com. And we're just gonna copy their CSS stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this first line here on the Bootstrap CDN. Of course, you could download the CSS and, and load it in as we have with all this other stuff, but I'm just gonna use the CDN version because it saves a lot of time, just as all of this stuff. It saves a lot of time with me setting it up, but it also saves a lot of time with it actually loading. So there is reason to do that. Um, so I'm gonna leave it just as they have. Now, one thing that you might be tempted to do is add in their, CS, their JavaScript. You don't actually have to do that. It's something that we wanna cover in the future, not in Triangular 1.5, but Bootstrap with Angular is quite a bit different than it is um, at least of the JavaScript stuff. So all of these things, it's a little bit different than just pure JavaScript as it is here because it's using jQuery. Bootstrap uses jQuery um, as its core component. Angular doesn't. So that is all we're really gonna get into other than we wanna actually grab a component here and we wanna make it look a little bit better. So this, this is how we want it to end up looking. And we're gonna come back to this and making it nice and clean, but Basically, we're gonna be using this thumbnail label stuff for actually having our blog post. So here, what we'll have is we'll have a list of blog posts actually showing up here. So let's go ahead and go back into our project. As we see, we added this CSS, and right away I did refresh, but yours, you'll definitely see it where it changes from not that style to a little bit cleaner and better looking, like the text looks better now. Um, so what we wanna do is jump into our index file in our, in our div class for the ng view, we're gonna add the class of container. And this class is a bootstrap class that just brings everything in the middle. And then we can do all sorts of stuff with this. In fact, I'm gonna also add a nav in here, also with the class of container. And we'll worry about the navigation stuff later in this video. Uh, or excuse me, in the future video. So we wanna have this thumbnail look. So I can go ahead and copy this. Let's just copy that entire thing, the example that they have for us, and we're gonna go in that blog list stuff. And I'm gonna paste this just right underneath that so we can actually see it in action. I refresh, and I've got this thumbnail label. Really, really simple. Not a whole lot going on here, but it at least shows us what could happen. Right, so the first thing that you might note is the image is missing. This is something we'll come back to in the next video, but all I really wanna do is set up this, this kind of, this row stuff so it actually is ready with our current blog list. So to do this, it's fairly straightforward. We wanna repeat things. If you remember this ng repeat, it repeated this one item in particular. So this list element in particular was repeated and then whatever's inside of it was actually rendered. So. This whole thing can be repeated over and over, but the properties of Bootstrap would probably want us to repeat, at the very least, the column. So the column is being how big this thing is right here. And it varies based on the size of whatever is looking at it, so the browser that's looking at it. So if I actually collapse this down, you'll notice the thumbnail label eventually get bigger. It actually eventually goes 100% width versus you know a third or a half or something like that. So it actually does change. So these classes do make a difference. So I wanna just repeat here. And I'm just gonna go ng repeat items in item. And it's, it's not much different than what we've already done, but now I can just use our titles a little bit differently. So post.title, and we can also put um, in our post.publish date, and then we could even put in the post text if I remember correctly. Let's look at our thing. Um, yeah, we have text there. So there we go. So we've got our, our posts should look a little bit better and they do. So there, there's actually them running out and they're showing quite a few things. It's, it's not perfect as far as how it's aligned, something we will cover, but we now have bootstrap in here. So if I click on any given item, I can now see that this is also inside, but we can also fix this a little bit. 
So that's what I'll do now. But I want to get rid of all of this stuff. I don't need that list element, those list element things anymore. Well, let's actually comment them out and remove our old comments. We want to keep all of that stuff commented out. I'm just doing this so you can have reference or we can have reference later for the links in particular. So let's actually actually add the links themselves. And we will copy this A tag here. And we're going to replace it with the other ones. And I'm just going to add a class of BTN. Remember, I'm not changing the functionality right now. I'm just really changing the way it looks. So I refresh and I want to get rid of the publish date there. And we'll change this to being view. So we refresh in here and now I can actually view each one. Of course, that functionality is still there, but now we can actually see this stuff and it's just a little bit better looking than it was before. Okay, so now let's go ahead and change the post detail. This is something very similar. So if we click on this, we look at it, we see this detail item. Some of it looks good, some of it doesn't look so great. So we actually wanna change this just ever so slightly and we're gonna do that using this page header. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this page header. And again, I'm going to just paste it in here. We've got our page header there. Page header, of course, being post title. And I'm gonna add the publication date here. Of course, you can play around with this as much as you like, but this is how I'm gonna do it. And we refresh. Now it's looking just a little bit better. We can probably add an HR tag here. So that's a line that just separates the comment, the content a little bit. In fact, we probably could add one right below our form as well, or before the, below the comments. Um, and we can change where our comment filter is. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna just put it right below the H tag. And I'm gonna add a new class here. So we'll add class of form dash control. And we're gonna see what that does in a second, but I'm gonna add it to my text area input as well. And then my uh, submit button, I'll just do button and BTN and default, save it, we refresh. And now we see that our form it looks a little bit better, but it's really wide. We don't need it to be that wide, but if we, you know, collapse down, it, it starts to collapse with the actual page itself. That's cool, but again, we don't need it to be that wide. So really simply, we can just add a div class in here and we'll say column small six, and that's gonna handle this whole thing. We refresh and, hmm. Doesn't look so great, does it? Okay, so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna actually add an entire row. So the div class equals to row, and this is gonna have everything in there. So we'll close off the div and we'll refresh. Notice that this comes out a little bit, so we're gonna just cut out that row and put it at the very top. And now everything's out there. And then we'll do another div in here, and we'll do class equals to column small 12. This gives us a full length column and we'll close off this div, we refresh, and now everything's aligned again a little bit better, um, which this is gonna allow us to now handle how our comments work just ever so slightly. I'm gonna now say in here, div class equals to row, and close off that div. Save that, refresh. Now our comments look a little bit better. We can get rid of that list element. Um, there we go, so that comments look better, and now I can write my own preview. But with the same thing, we can have this row and class down here for our preview and our comments. And I'm just copying and pasting some divs here. Of course, you can check the reference for any of this stuff. And we refresh, and now we're getting a little better of a preview. All right there we go there it is so now we have bootstrap installed i might want to change this a little bit let's say let's call them six and then call them small offset three save that and refresh and boom look at that it's going in the middle now so if we did eight and then two refresh and that's that's looking pretty good okay so that's actually how we're gonna leave our blog item itself. And then the blog list, this is something we'll clean up in the next one. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.